imagine dia orang macam mana and the relative weight of their body dengan kita pun is like totally different okay so benda ni really really kena take into consideration you have to know your cat punya uh, normal behavior and anything out of the ordinary really really kena tengok okay and ni memang safety measures yang memang you kena this is the most important lah basically whatever kalau you pakai kadang-kadang kita just dulu kan tenyeh minyak gamat apa semua kan macam certain cats dia tak okay with it so they can start over grooming that area uh, that is a sign of uh, toxicity reaction to them okay Okay, next. Yes. Lambat. <laughs> okay. Okay, this all recommendation, yang ni memang dapat daripada Dotera punya website lah. Uh, memang macam-macam. Macam-macam sangat. For me, the three oils that I use the most, ni je. Frank, Kopaiba, Eh nampak tak? Ha. Kopaiba Hilang pula. Ha, gitu. Dengan Digest Zen. Tiga ni je. These are the three oils that I use the most. Okay. Uh, if you read up a lot of research by uh, some of the vets, Frank and Kopaiba are the best oils because they cover everything. Okay. Untuk kita punya, oh kita punya internal punya sistem, memang they are the best. And Kopaiba, paling senang nak bagi dekat cats. Because apparently, cats like it. The taste of it. Okay. Frank tak sangat. For some cats, Frank, uh, dia macam very strong. But it may not be the same for dogs. Okay, there are some research that say uh, dogs tak suka kopaiba. Okay. Asal aku pun getah. <laughs> Senang nak buka weh, kadang-kadang dia lekat. Tangan aku tak kuat, kadang-kadang. Kalau orang tua dah kan, malulah pula aku. <laughs> okay, uh, semua semua list of oils ni you can you can get on the Dutera website. And another thing, bila I refuse, my cat suka easy air. Okay. Easy air, yelang-yelang, balance. Memang knock out, tidur. Tak adalah nak berlari-lari malam-malam. Okay. Okay, so far ada soalan? Following me? Cepat sangat tak? Okay. Eh, what happened? Easy air. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> tak apa, tak apa. Easy air dengan apa dah? Uh, easy air balance dengan yelang-yelang. Okay, ni lagi satu. Usually, the cats, this is my personal experience, your pets will react positively to the oils that you like. Okay, it's like a reflection of your preference. Okay, macam for me, I sleep well with uh, yelang-yelang, balance and easy air. So memang sentiasa ada tiap-tiap malam. And they are used to it and they are okay with it. My cats hate lavender. Like me, I don't like lavender. Okay, and they orang punya reaction like really screaming, okay. Screaming, macam kita pukul dia orang punya scream. Sampai sekarang, I cannot figure out why. Okay. Geranium is okay, tak ada masalah. <laughs> but you have to try uh, to try and let them experience it. Okay, if your cats are okay with lavender, then fine. Then that is good. Sebab kalau kalau they prefer the basic oil, is better for you. Macam my cats, dia macam high maintenance sikit. Ha, gitu. <laughs> okay? 
Balance and serenity. Okay, I've never tried that because lavender piece that work for me. Lemon. Okay, peppermint and lemon. My cat suka mint tea, citrus and spicy oils. They don't like florals. They don't like all this uh, coming, coming punya oil. And again, you have to try and see. Because it's not the same across the board. Macam manusia lah juga. Litsi is okay for a lot of people. But litsi makes my brain go wonky. I sampai tak boleh bau langsung litsi. Okay. Forgive. I love forgive. Izam tak suka forgive. <laughs> okay, so it depends on your molecular vibration, I think. Okay, sama juga dengan cat. Dia orang pun macam kalau pregnant pun, they still have morning sickness. Dia orang still badan berangin. Sama macam kita. Cuma, dia orang, sama, serious. My my cat, uh, Mami Ren, she's 10. Bila dia pregnant, morning sickness dia teruk gila. Sampai lembik. Tak boleh nak makan, tak boleh nak minum nasi. Thing. And bila pegang Angin dia masuk pada aku Aku bingung sekali aku tombak Macam last night Mami Ren dia kena gastric attack Dia muntah tiga kali okay? Angin dalam badan dia memang kau-kau So memang terpaksa Sapu Zen Jazz And Alhamdulillah Zen Jazz works for my cats Dia dengan anak dia Cory Memang kerap gastric Lambat sikit makan, salah makan Muntah Berapa kali dah kena muntah atas kepala. Okay. So, uh, it's a trial and error. Kalau dia orang ada skin condition, lavender and rosemary doesn't work for them. I have to use this Frank and Copaiba. Okay. Mm. This one, they are okay with it. Okay. Again, trial and error. Tak semua oil yang work for other cats or other dogs, other pets, works for other people punya ni. Soalan, soalan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. You have like 10 cats kan? So does yeah. your cats have like preference like like uh, this cat boleh oily or I, cookie or uh, I don't know what your cats are. <laughs> <laughs> so lost lost count already. Uh, so yang ni suka yang ni ha, macam tu. Ada ke yang dia macam tak um, tolerate? Totally opposite macam tu. Uh, Lavender is like across the board, dia orang semua tak suka. Okay. Uh, peppermint dengan clove, all of them like. Okay. If I diffuse anything with clove and peppermint, they will put their head on the diffuser. Uh, okay, yeah, I attach saw. diffuser. Okay, <laughs> so that that scared the hell out of, out of me. Tapi they are okay with it, so okay. And then um, apa yang dia orang tak suka? Ah? So far tak ada lah yang yang different banyak between them sebab dia orang punya age range between 10 to 2. Uh, dia orang uh, betul lah 10 dengan 2. So setakat ni tak ada yang orang ni suka, yang tu tak suka tak ada. Which I'm very lucky lah. Kalau satu suka lemon, satu tak suka jenuh jugalah kan. But then uh, bila I diffuse, I always make sure that the door is open. So they can leave if they are not comfortable. Tapi so far memang tidur terbongkang je lah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Any more questions korang? Sila bertanya. Ikin aku tak ada klik slide. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, yang ni uh, for specific conditions, okay. This is actually the one yang proposed by vets. Okay. Uh, again, kena try. Dia tak semestinya work for every cat. Okay. And one of the vet actually said that lavender does not taste nice. Ooh. Maybe one of, uh, maybe that's one of the reasons that even my cats tak suka. So, uh, uh, and the the oils that they are proposed so far memang sama, lebih kurang sama dengan what I'm using. Kalau kalau kucing termakan racun, okay. Kalau kucing termakan racun, sila bawa pergi ke vet. Sebab uh, EO is not going to help. 
what mm. they need to do is flush out the racun. Okay, my my late Loki, aka Bulat, uh, he was poisoned, but he managed to come home. Uh, berjalan memang wobbly, memang Ailio berjejejej. We managed to bring him to the vet, and he was put uh, on IV for 24 hours to flush out the racun from the system. Okay, and ada ada juga oil, uh, the Oreo Super Senior, which we did not manage to save. And ada a few others lah orang datang, orang just datang hantar body balik rumah And we know that they died because of poison lah mm. Kalau tak dan macam mana oleh cat pun Okay kalau tak sempat memang tak sempat lah Tapi minta maaf lah Bel memang tak sempat Because I have a lot, I've lost count how many cats died on my lap And there are actually one cat yang Tahan nyawa dia selagi my sister tak balik Until I have to call and make Buat uh, on speaker phone And my sister said to that boy Dia redha Two seconds after that, that cat mati On my lap Okay So kalau racun memang There's no two ways about it Bawa pergi vet Okay, some people cakap bagi air kelapa Or bagi uh, 100 plus Just don't try without the proper knowledge. Hmm. Take to the bed, okay? Yes. Hmm. Sebab uh, dia essential oil ni dia bukan a cure oil tau. It goes along together dengan dengan medication. Sama macam manusia. Macam I have uh, at one point my blood pressure was 180 over 110. Okay? I makan ubat. But then I also take essential oil. Within two weeks, it dah drop to normal and until now, is really, really normal sampai my doctor pun terjut. Okay, my doctor is also an oil user. Cuma dia tak pakai doTERRA lah. So, for me, he's okay if I want to use oils as well as medication. Okay? Kalau, and he knows kalau I minta ubat tu memang ada memang tak tahan sangat lah. Okay? Okay, uh, tadi ada tadi lagi satu soalan. Uh, I termis. Hmm, okay, kucing sesama. Kunyit. Kunyit. Not not necessarily the oil. Serbuk kunyit tu pun boleh. Letak air sikit, tempat dekat hidung. Tapi kalau nak diffuse, easy air. Okay. Usually what works for us humans, works for them as well. Just make sure the dilution and the number of drops to correspond to their age and their weight. Okay, that is very important. Umur sama, berat tak sama, dilution tak sama, okay? Okay, berat sama, umur tak sama, dilution pun tak sama. Okay, my cat, uh, the biggest cat is 10 kilos. He is uh, 10 kilos. He is 7 years old. Okay, adik dia uh, from the same litter is about five. Dilution tak sama. Macam this one, uh, my copaiba and frank, one drop copaiba, one drop frank in a 10 uh, ml roller. This is for Tommy punya dilution yang 10 kilo tu. Kalau untuk orang lain, I akan golek on my palm and then I add lagi FCO. Drop lagi. Okay, dilute it some more. Okay, untuk uh, my eldest, my Miren, dia 10 tahun tapi berat dia tak sampai 3 kilo. Okay, uh, and then my youngest, uh, Kara, uh, she is 2 and berat dia pun tak sampai 3 kilo. Tapi dilution for my Miren has to be lower than Kara. Because dia kalau nak ikut umur dia, she is about 70 plus. Okay. So memang kena dilution, memang elderly punya dilution. Okay? Okay, jap. Sat, sat, sat. Ini Encik Kori. Hai Kori. Hilang. Okay. <laughs> Ini Kori. Okay. Bulu dah gebu. Hari-hari kita sapu oil. Okay? Lagi ada tak soalan yang I miss lagi? Okay.
Lagi lagi. Uh, ada lagi tak soalan? Uh, Jajak, sorry ya, jajak, jajak Kara. Uh, okay. okay, next. Uh, tak dengar dari awak untuk pet sapu-sapu ke? Okay, untuk pet uh, kita macam manusia juga kita ada tiga cara diffuse, topical dengan injection. But the best way is diffuse lah kita nak check whether they are okay with the oil that we use or not. And then uh, topical uh, kita sapu dekat dia punya bulu ataupun spine and dengan ataupun dia punya pobin tapi make sure dilution tu proper okey yang ni soalan daripada miss mimi okey untuk injection uh, once kita sapu dekat dia punya bulu bila dia orang grooming tu automatic dia orang dah ingest okey okey uh, next slide ikut ikin ni yeah, habis dah eh okey ha ah, dah okey substitution This is suggested by vets. Okay. Um, tea tree actually is not really toxic to cats per se. Sebab mostly it's used for fleas. Okay. Tapi uh, banyak misuse sebab orang tak tak dilute proper. So uh, vets suggest better not. Okay. So we use safer oils like geranium. Ataupun cedar wood. But cedar wood bear in mind ya. Yeah, cedar wood tak boleh, uh, cat tak boleh ingest. Okay. So geranium is uh, the best substitute for tea tree. Okay. Uh, winter green uh, untuk pain management apa semua tu. Again co fiber dengan prank. Frank. Prank pula. <laughs> co fiber dengan Frank. And on guard is okay for the cat even though I tak recommend topical punya application. So mostly my personal advice, diffuse je. Topical application tu if it's absolutely necessary. I pun tak apply selalu all this uh, uh, copyboy and everything. Only bila orang nampak macam kurang sihat. Because when you use the oil, you have to know why you are using it and what you are trying to achieve when you use it. Sama macam kita jugalah. Uh, kita nak increase immune system ke? Okay. Kita nak uh, nak de, nak improve diorang punya overall health ke? So you you have to know why you're using it. What are you trying to achieve? And whether your pets are okay with it or not. That is very important. Walaupun kita nak dia orang lebih sihat, uh, nak bulu cantik, but if they are not okay with it, then what is the point? Okay? This is Mummy Ren, my eldest. She is 10. Baru bangun tidur ni. Gastric semalam ni. Dah okay dah ni. Okay? Okay, next slide. Okay. Okay, yang ni memang a lot of the articles that I read. Uh, this is one uh, of the apa ni, uh, list of oils yang most vets agreed on. Avoid all these oils. Okay, so cypress memang sangat-sangat toxic untuk cats. So please don't use. At all. Cypress. Okay. Cypress. Okay. Uh, Tensi. Tensi ada dalam deep blue kan? Ah uh, Yes. And uh, balance then, tu? Balance ada ada juga kan? Ah uh ah. -uh. Blue Tensi uh, ada? Ada juga. So uh, dia oral. Kalau uh, kena tengok juga. Dia kata kat sini dia toxic bila oral. Maksud dia tak boleh ingest. Okay. Tapi dia kurang toxic bila dia apply dekat kulit. Tapi bila when it comes to cats, automatic dia akan masuk, dia akan ingest kalau kita apply kat kulit. So the best way is diffuse. Hmm. Yes, betul. Blue tensi ah uh, best pregnant tak boleh. Yes, correct. That's oh. why deep blue tak boleh. I see. Oh, I did not know that. Okay, that's good to know. Di blue masa awal-awal okay. lah. Lepas tu bila dah second, third time, Habis masa tu boleh. Okay. Ha. Okay. So, be mindful ya. Yeah? 
Camp 4 dalam certain blend pun ada kan? I can't, I can't remember. Semua uh, Oh tak ingat lah. Ada certain blend yang ada juga. Dia boleh guna tapi be mindful. Again uh, like I said in the uh, at the very beginning uh, topical and uh, internal use of oils for your pets is only when really 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 absolutely necessary and please consult your vet first. Okay. Mm. Uh, some some vets oh, yeah. uh, they don't they don't prefer pakai oils but some vets if uh, you are lucky enough to find a similar one like my my doctor they're very open to all this alternative punya medication so it's good to discuss okay macam uh, my cara dia baru dia baru neuter last week and dia punya jahitan tu bekas jahitan tu I sapu sikit kopaiba dengan frank super diluted lah I golek atas, atas tangan and then I titik uh, additional carrier oil and then sapu sikit-sikit not on the loop ke betul-betul but surrounding it. Okay. So far dia okay lah. If dia tak okay, I, I stop lah. Okay. Uh, ada soalan so far? Ada soalan yang I miss ke? Ikut berat. Uh, okay. Uh, kutu, kutu. Kalau kutu? Kalau kutu? Hmm. Kau buat apa? Okay. Kau kat kucing kau tak pernah kena kutu. <laughs> ada kutu tapi aku punya uh, usually what I do is jumpa vet dulu. Sebab uh, untuk fleece the best is T3. Tapi kalau hmm. guna banyak-banyak it's going to be toxic to cats. Okay. okay? So you can use uh, geranium, okay? Buat uh, spray dengan air, pakai spray bottle macam ni, spray bottle, dilute, letak geranium sikit cukup lah dalam a few drops, dalam 3 to 5 drops, this is uh, 60 ml punya spray bottle ataupun you pakai dropper pun boleh, this is 30 ml, up to you whichever is uh, comfortable for your cats. Yang ni untuk kalau kita nak uh, topical application macam kita patting motion uh, on the fur is easier. Kalau your cat jenis tahan kena spray-spray tu, by all means pakai spray. My cat tak boleh. Okay. Kalau spray memang mencicit lari. Okay. So my cat prefer Mencik. patting motion. Okay. Uh, dia kurang punya <laughs> hormon. Ayah Allah Bel kau punya soalan ni memang dia orang punya hormon mengawan affected tak jalannya? I've never tried because all my cats are neutered. So I cannot answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> Tapi kalau kau nak try boleh lah Bel. Because uh, for for humans it 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 do have a role untuk hormon punya ni. But for cats it should it should not be much different. Cuma I'm not sure how it will affect. Okay. My cats, the only cat yang ada anak, Mami Ren je. Yang lain semua neuter. Because I dah tengok macam mana Mami Ren mengandung beranak, mengandung beranak. Aku kata uh, tak boleh dah budak-budak lain. <laughs> so semua neuter. So pernah letak oil kat pasir? Pernah letak oil kat pasir? Ah uh, No. Because my cat tak tak prefer fragrance dekat dia punya pasir. You can try but uh, make sure it's the safer oils lah. Citrus jangan because uh, sometimes they don't react well to it. You can try lavender, you can try rosemary or if you are willing, frank and copaiba lah. <laughs> if you are willing, okay? Rosemary, uh, rosemary is a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> rosemary and lavender are good choices tapi uh, no, rosemary je. <laughs> sebab uh, bear in mind bila dekat pasir tu uh, you have access to dia punya inis kan so uh -huh. if masuk dalam through that uh, that is not good for them okay 
I will not suggest <laughs> letak oil dekat pasi. Okay. For, ni apa pula soalan for human mengawan ni? Alah, hai Izzam Suzian ni. Okay. Salah, Lali, salah topik. Itulah dia. <laughs> Kalau kucing, piece kat dinding ke apa, nak spray tak nak bagi dalam piece, okay. Preference. Setengah kucing dia tak suka citrus. So lemon is good. Or you can use tea tree or clove. Depends. Macam my cat, citrus doesn't work. They don't like it. Tapi kalau dia orang nak, nak spray, dia orang spray je. It makes no difference for them. Tapi walaupun, untuk... Walaupun dah neuter. Walaupun dah neuter. Ada juga. If you if you neuter lambat, uh, after dia orang dah start spray, then it won't change. They will still spray. So, siapa yang mak-mak cat yang ada baby-baby lagi tu, once your cat reach, uh, once your cat pass 2 kilos yang punya berat badan, silalah neuter. Unless you you nak orang rasa beranak sekali for 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 the female cats, then up to you lah. But for 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 the male cats, kalau tak nak diorang start pancut, once dah 2 kilo, boleh neuter. Sebab kalau once you dah start pancut, neuter pun is still going to happen. Okay? Hmm. Hmm. Cuka. Cuka no. My cats no. Peppermint pun doesn't work. So basically nothing works for my cat lah. Kau kena bertambah pergi cuci je lah. Tapi peppermint works for the tikus at the back of my house. I spray peppermint dekat cotton balls, campak kat belakang. And then uh, tikus tak datang. So my stray cats dekat belakang rumah I pun sangat-sangat friendly dengan the tikus. Boleh makan biskut sepinggan. Oh <laughs> But my cats, uh, my cats yang tangkap tikus, yang tangkap tangkap burung. Okay? okay. Uh, apa lagi soalan? Anything else I miss? Oh, habis dah. Okay, dah habis. So, based on the oil suggestion uh, in the previous slide, these are the best kits for your per kits lah. Sebab uh, lavender, okay. Mostly it's because of the lavender lah because most cats are okay with it except for mine. But again, it's a trial and error. Kena, kena check with your cat. Are you okay with it? If you're not okay with it, what would you like? Okay? Because I did that. I open uh, certain bottles and I let them sniff. Okay? And they actually spill my lavender because they don't like it. They kick the bottle. So, okay, nasib baik lah lavender tak mahal sangat kan? Kalau dia kick frankincense tu, mahu aku menjerit. <laughs> okay? Any other question for me? Okay, I stop share sebab I nak ambil gambar. Ramai, okay. 20 orang. Oh, okay. Thank you for coming. Thank you for your support. Ada tak yang soalan I miss lagi? Okay, ada lagi tak nak tanya sebenarnya? Yes. Depends juga. Kadang-kadang it work, kadang-kadang it doesn't work. Hmm. <laughs> okay, ni bagus. Dan ni kita spray cat tapi dia tak pancut. Okay, bagus. Hmm. Ada lagi tak? Ni, uh, ni ramai juga mami 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 mami. Not necessarily. Uh, not necessarily bell, it depends. Kadang-kadang uh, tak neuter pun dia penakut juga. <laughs> so, uh, tengok dia punya upbringing lah. Kalau, kalau mak dia garang and uh, mak dia dia duk defend dia dari dia kecil, then dia memang akan jadi penakut. Like my cats. Sebab my Miran is very very garang masa muda. Siap gaduh dengan kucing jantan, selamatkan anak dia. So, anak-anak dia memang bapuk-bapuk sikit lah. Seriously, yang garang uh, among my cats, I think uh, Oreo dengan apricot kot. Mm, Oreo dengan apricot. Diorang asal, mak diorang stray cat. 
So kena okay, tinggal so kita dah ambil. Okay thank you. Thank you for coming Izam. Okay, okay, ada lagi ada soalan, soalan, soalan lagi soalan lain? Haa, just strike on time ni. Bagus. Boleh repeat. <laughs> aku dah debor dah. Aku, aku lama sangat. Okay je. Okay, uh, ada lagi tak soalan lain nak tanya or um, sebelum kita end the session give like one or two minutes lagi ke? Okay. Kalau tak ada soalan, uh, next week kita ada kelas yang best tau next week um, Apa beza doTERRA dengan yang lain hmm. okay. um, Beza lepas tu kita ada next Friday kita ada Dr. Nada Dr. Nada, Dr. Nada ada tonight uh, for EO and Sports okay. uh. Untuk caps je ke Uh, tak, actually it's not for cats tapi I rasa macam most of Malaysians uh, Bila cats lah kan, uh, untuk ikan tak ada lah dia Kau nak bawa ikan EO buat apa? <laughs> Unless kau nak grill dia lah <laughs> kan? uh, uh, if Actually uh, the the oil suggested to actually is across the board Uh, again, kena check dengan your pets whether they okay with it. Even for dogs, mostly vet uh, uh, akan propose friend dengan Kopaiba. Hmm. Usually. Kalau Sebab ha. they cover everything. If you're willing to experiment with your cats, by all means. Uh, but I'm not willing. <laughs> Sebab my cats, dia ada uh, some of my cats yang ada masalah urinary. Okay, so I have to be very very mindful on their diet and whatever uh, medications or alternative medications that I introduce to them. Kau nak beli okay. ular pula ke? Bel? <laughs> ular pun sama weh, sensitif. Uh, <laughs> ayam eh, actually boleh, ayam boleh. Betul, serius boleh. I've seen boleh. it. Ah, boleh, boleh. Oh, Kau letak sebab ibu ada yang punya makanan. Ah, I've seen it. I I've seen and I've read it. Ah, ada juga lah. Aku study study sikit. Tapi I'm not really. Ada. Ah, I'm not really good with pets lah. I choose the right person kan today. Ah tu. Okay. Ah, gaya boleh ah. Gaya ada. Okay. Dah try. Okay. Uh, especially kalau dia orang ada macam infection dekat kaki tu kan, Daya. Have you tried that one? Hmm. Ah. Uh, so, rabbit sama je, sama. Sama je, sama je. Uh, most vet akan propose uh, Frank and Kopaiba mm -hmm. untuk uh, kalau kita, untuk orang punya internal consumption ataupun topical. Bila diffuse tu, it's a trial and error. Mm -hmm. uh, just be mindful lah apa yang tak boleh dan apa yang boleh. Kena do a, uh, a lot of read up, kena check with your vet if they are willing to explore all these alternative uh, medication. Minyak mahal belakang. Kalau kalau you kalau ayam kalau pula. Ya Allah. Punya... <laughs> Aduh, ayam pakai frank. Alamak, kucing aku pakai frank pun aku dah tarik nafas dalam-dalam dah. Hmm. A frank free bulan ni. Hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, Frank, right. Frank, Frank habis macam air dekat my house Because everybody, humans and pets consume, consume Frank like every day hmm. Okay, okay, okay Okay, any other question? Pes, pes Nanti kita repeat eh, sebab awal-awal tadi I forgot to record <laughs> Alamak, okay boleh, just let me know when uh. Kan banyak new info. I pun macam oh. Thank you for coming. Right. Thank you so much korang. Thank you for coming. Jangan lupa next week. Thank you. Okay. Alright. Bye. Good night.